Hello, welcome to The Print. Today we, we have with us eminent theatre personality and playwright Mr. Ratan Thiyam. He is from Manipur. Um, he is a recipient of uh, the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Award in, and is also a Padam Shri awardee. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today, sir. Uh, so this conversation which we are having today is in the backdrop of uh, you know the rising violence in your home state in Manipur. You were part of the peace committee which was set up by the government of India, the central government. But you have decided to withdraw yourself from that peace committee. Can you just tell us why, uh, is, uh, why and what is the reason behind it? The reason is very simple. The first thing is they never asked me or made a request to me I mean, that whether I will be able to participating in this peace committee. The other thing is I was too, I mean, preoccupied with my schedule. The third thing is the most important thing is that what are you really going to do hmm. in a peace committee when your peace committee is going to be referred to the center and then the center will decide what is happening over there. What I expect from the center is to come down really and look into the ground situation and discuss about many things what is happening, the main cause and the reconciliation process and many things which could be done very much earlier. But in the last 45 or 50 days, you know, it has never come as you know that nothing is happening. The Honorable Prime Minister is not really speaking out a single word and now he is in his own trip to US. I think that makes me a little bit you know difficult to understand that when a government is running this country and it is always responsible for the government to look after the people, to look after, I mean, the good and bad merits and demerits everywhere. And that is their duty. But in spite of having so many cabinet ministers, in spite of having such a leader like uh, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji, why it is not happening? So, but uh, we have seen that in the past the Union Home Minister did visit uh, Manipur and the centre in some way has definitely intervened by sending, uh, you know, one of its officers over there. So, do you think that is not enough? You are very right that uh, Honourable Home Minister was there, but that he, it is very clear that he could not bring any solution out of that. And everybody knows about it. It is because of many things. The package deal, you see, the package of 100 crores or rupees has nothing to do with the peace. You know, we need a package of human consideration, humanity, human peace package hmm. that is more important for us. Before building houses, before building many things, you know, the whole problem has to be solved properly. And do you think that the Prime Minister's intervention would result in this solution? I've been always talking about that. Why not he is speaking out and why not he is visiting uh, Manipur? One year ago he, were, he has spoken so beautifully about Manipur, this and that and Oh, well, after which I think this time he was not coming out and he, whatever he has, he has spoken is not really uh, being implemented. So whatever steps the central government has so far taken, you think those are not enough? Not enough only. You see, look, if the BJP state minister itself, Mr. Arkaranjan, is talking about the total uh, failure of law and order in Manipur. 
then it speaks out quite a lot. You see, this is not only a, a kind of statement, but it, it shows, it really gives the entire scenario of what is happening in Manipur. So are you suggesting that the center should intervene yeah, and take well, over the administration? It's it very important that the center should in, intervene in it. And then Mr. Narendra Modi, Honorable Prime Minister, is uh, going to uh, uh, hold uh, if, if he makes a visit and he come out with some solution, you see. Otherwise, what will happen? Otherwise, many people are displaced now. Mm -hmm. Many people uh, died. You will see orphans, you will see widows. How long it will go on? I am only an artist, as you know that I am a theater artist. And uh, I'm not a political person. I have no say in that case. The only thing what I can do is pray and make request, pray to God and make make request to the, uh, uh, the to the center that mm. please do it quickly. Otherwise, it will become very late. So your theater works um, have often reflected the anxiety in Manipur. What do you think went wrong this time? Is this like, uh, you know, an ethnic distrust which is building up or brewing over the years? How, what really triggered all this? You see, I have already most of the time tried to portrait about the good works and about the kingdoms of Manipur. And uh, uh, that the tradition, that the customs, that the rituals of Manipur so beautiful and more than that, the aesthetics which, uh, which are found in Manipur, everything because the changes which are taking place in this world mm. and the changes that has already taken, you know, is that there is a gulf of difference when we look at the human condition, you see. So, my plays are trying to make, uh, understand and make a study, make a research of what really human religion is, what really is humankind and how the system is going wrong day by day and this is what really happens everywhere in this country also um, you see but but if a little bit of these traditions and rituals the customaries of this country the entire country could be you know followed up properly not in terms of religion hmm. but in terms of the essence of what we have got from our ancestors, the essence, the rituals, the everything, you know, including aesthetics, then maybe, you know, the whole scenario of violence may be a little bit come down. Hmm. Uh, so, I mean, I am just a, 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 a drop in an ocean. My ideas are cannot really penetrate to the entire world. But as, a, as an artist, as a theater director, as a writer, in that case, this is a small contribution. This is a small say from my heart because my heart is already broken now. Looking at the tears of the widows, looking at the orphans, or looking at the people in the relief camp, you see, my heart has already broken it has broken down and you see tears all the time you know and it is difficult to tolerate for people who are a little bit sensible people who are really working in the field of art and culture they are a little bit more emotional that you yeah. know um, that's what I'm experiencing and I'm trying to 
a really say come out from the art community, art and culture community, telling the government, making the government give me hope. You know. So, are you uh, from the I mean the artistic community of Manipur? Are you planning to do something, give some representation, or probably garner more support from the different artistic community uh, from different parts of the country? You know. Ah, uh, this is the starting phase, but definitely, definitely, uh, it will be followed up with many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you rate the performance of the state government over there? Um, uh, do you think that the state has terribly and miserably failed to protect its own people? It is a political uh, kind of uh, statement that the politician can give. But what I am talking about is the entire scenario where you can also comment everybody can comment because it is very clear it's a very clear picture of anguish clear picture of displacement of people clear picture of violence so everybody thinks about you know why the government is not coming into the picture why the government is not here you see and uh, we uh, are we a part of uh, really India because mm. you know when a when a, uh, the great uh, when a Lutera dies mm. the entire you know channel will go on you know talking about that showing about that again and again for 15 days mm. but in our case there was a, till a month there was no nothing nobody is uh, really thinking about or uh, you know giving an exposure of this kind of thing the the reality of manipur the violence in manipur and so on hmm. so everything is in a limited area what is the road ahead now in the sense do you think manipur getting engulfed in the way it did in the past or you still have hope? No, I still have hope. You see, uh, being an artist, one has to be optimistic also. And the other thing is that hope and uh, treatment therapy. You know, these two are the things which makes us alive, which makes us, uh, I mean, gives us quite a lot of courage even if with this situation we always think that yes it will be done that the peace will come and we will definitely try to bring peace in our own soil why should I mean one be involved in violence all the time we are all brothers and sisters right. You see, for the last 2,000 years, we have been living together with 35 communities around. And this type of thing is the first time which has been flared up. That's what it is normally said, that Manipur has seen skirmishes in the past, but this time it is unprecedented. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but as hope and the treatment therapy, should come. I mean, we are very optimistic about that. We always think that human being, a human being, cannot hate a human being hmm. all the time. When you look at his face, her face, gradually it starts becoming beautiful, you see. And when you speak out, you talk with him or her, it becomes much closer. It's a kind of therapy. It's a kind of reconciliation stage which you should bring, the center should bring. And the center has, apart from that, its political power. 
if the center carries political will, you see, if the center carries the political power, and they have quite a lot of think tank, mm. and uh, all these cabinet ministers, all these ministers, if they think together, and think to solve the problem mm. of a very small state, why not? It should come out to be a go with a good result. I always think like that because I cannot leave my state in these days. I always think uh, that uh, peace will come soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Thiam, for sharing your views. Thank you. And um, especially your optimistic views on Manipur. And you do hope that peace is definitely going to come back. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us.